G'day Groovers Big Blue She's a hell of a thing Pleasing on the eye And puckering on the poo hole Ticks so many boxes Well Gotta go home and smash some steak So Big Blue Take me home Way, way too late tonight, but anyway The main aim and the main goal here is to um, have a pair of legs that actually get me home Because I've finished up the rest of legs tonight And legs plus R1 generally is not a good thing So the goal is just basically to not cramp up We'll take the alternate route home tonight This is what an R1 looks like by night In case you've never seen one And by night, I mean this stuff. It appeals to me, might not appeal to everyone. Everyone has their certain tastes. Remembering we aren't quite in the uh, TFT era on this bike here. So we've got to go with the old digi analog type sort of thing. I don't think you can really go wrong with a TFT screen, or at least a high quality one So, something on a um, Panigale, or I guess the new R1, R1M, whatever you got some nice little screens, BMWs, etc, etc But we've still got a dial on this bad boy And an LCD screen So Does it look nice? I think so That's of course a personal thing But there's not one thing on this bike that I don't like, so it was very much a uh, passion purchase. Well, it's also a performance purchase, I mean, let's be brutally honest, R1's not exactly renowned for being a slow bike. But I didn't need 200 horsepower plus, and I still don't. So. I don't need to tick the. Uh, 300 km hour plus box because I'm probably not going to reach it If this thing does just under 300 It'll get there quick enough for me and my skill factor I need to get uh, the love of this bike And I do Are we going? I don't think we are How clean is this thing, eh? Beautiful. Alright, let's roll. Two speed cameras here, but I don't need to worry about that because one's right here. And the next set of lights is another one. Oh, we'll just cruise home in uh, standard mode tonight if you don't mind. Had a little bit of fun on the way here in uh, A mode. Don't really need to repeat that on the way home, I don't think. Speed camera. Or oh, and red light camera. Go you good thing. Go. Ah, 11.30. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mrs. is going to kill me. And I've missed the bloody green light too. Well, 
Friday night. Everyone is out uh, getting on the go juice. I'm going home to smash 600 grams of steak into me and then an egg milkshake at about 1 o'clock in the morning. Such is the life of the biking bodybuilder. Recover on Saturday, do some shit around the house and then hopefully... No, what's going on? And then hopefully I have a nice cruise out on Sunday. At this stage, anticipating it being on a VFR 1200. I'd love to take you for a ride this weekend. really do need to test the limits of the VFR 1200 after the suspension uh, rebuild. Plus I, uh, I think I might break myself if I take the R1. I'm not a spring chicken anymore so I got out of the gym four days this week. I didn't even get my five out. I'm hoping to get five next week so Spending all day Sunday on an R1 is probably not going to be uh, the best way to start a gym week for me. Because believe it or not, I rode my Goldwing on the last weekend. Copped a little bit of sun, riding in uh, good old squid mode, but you know, that was the aim. I wanted to get some sun. Mission accomplished, did that. But after hanging off my bike for 600 k's, 12 hours, bit of this, bit of that, bit of everything else, copping some sun and gammas. Come Monday, I was a ruined unit. And if that is off the back of a bloody gold wing, <laughs> oh dear. Of course, the flip side of the coin is, why don't you take a week off from the gym? Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt, if I've got to be brutally honest. I'm probably due for a rest. You can't go smashing the gym for five or six days a week, every week, week in, week out. You do need some time off, and I'm probably overdue that, so... If you can't ride and train, you probably need to reassess where you're at. Which is a shame, because this is one a hell, one a hell of a bike. Don't go mate, don't go. Uh, I'll let you get away with that. But if I was carrying even just another 10 k's or so, I would have been up in his fucking door. And I don't think he would have given a shit. Now the reason I say I'm probably going to take the VFR this weekend is, well I've already mentioned that I suppose to be brutally honest, but the other factor is I live on the south side of Sydney. Well, let's just call it the Cardinal Points, eh? I live on the south. The ride on Sunday is going to be on the north side of Sydney. Or, oh, well, you know, the meet-up point, the start. So, it's, um, it's an hour to get there, it's an hour to get back. So there's an extra two hours in the day. Whereas if it's a ride that's going on the south side, it doesn't take me anywhere near that sort of time to at least get to the start point. So I can think, and I'm pretty sure I'm correct, I've really only taken the R1 for a weekend ride to the north once. All the other rides to the north have been the VFR or the Goldwing. A few rides to the south have definitely been on the R1. Absolutely. Absolutely. And when the next ride to the south comes up, then yeah, as so long as my body's not fucking busted and fucked up, I will certainly intend to um, take the R1 down south. BMW S1000. Don't mind the new BMWs, not a massive fan of the previous generation, S1000 RR. I do like the new one. I'm one of those guys that never got into the whole asymmetric headlight thing. 
I'm very much a visual guy and that put me off <laughs> he wanted to show off to me he doesn't realize underneath this helmet is a 50 year old dude so I say good on you young chop chop but I'm probably not as easily impressed as one of your peers my days of uh, being stupid they're not too completely over but my days of showing off yeah they're probably not there if I do something stupid I do it because of myself not because somebody's watching me This is my favourite little bit of road for a fucking shortcut on my um, Alpha GTA. It loves going through here. Handles like a go-kart. I hit these little uh, traffic islands that are walk factor 10 on the old GTA. If you don't know much about Alfa Romeos, just understand if there's a GTA on the name somewhere. She's probably a bit of a uh, bit of a little beast. I have a 147 GTA which absolutely loves this little bit of road and I have taken my Jeep SRT through here as well and I have bounced off one or two of those traffic islands because I forget sometimes that it has a two point I want to say 2.5 I think it's about two and three quarter lock to lock steering rack whereas the Alpha has about a one and a half, one and three quarter lock to lock steering rack which is very fast very very fast the steering rack is about twice as fast essentially as the Jeep and sometimes that can prove a little bit uh, disconcerting That said though, the Jeep handles like an absolute weapon as well for a big thing. But 147 GTA, it is definitely not. Yes, just in case you didn't realise, I am a car guy and a born again bike guy. I was in a car's a long, 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 long before I was into bikes. I've got a pretty good car history. I might discuss that one day when there's enough people who give a fuck about me to fucking follow me. But for now, fucking, not necessarily a fucking big thing, but yeah. I've owned some nice cars. No, I haven't owned Porsches and Ferraris and Chargers and Challengers. And, I mean, I've owned some good cars. Let's just leave it at that. Now I currently own two fucking pretty sweet rides. So I'm not going to complain. Two cars, three bikes. For me. Which, if you're talking about first world problems, is not a bad one to have. Hopefully one day, Hopefully I have more. Three cars, maybe. And, you know, four or five or six bikes. Uh, that'd be good. We might get there in the, in, in the end. But for now, particularly where I live, I'm pretty much at my limit. Plus the old missus isn't too, too impressed about my current acquisitions. She'd, be preferred, she'd prefer me to have two bikes and even then she still sort of ums and ahs over why I need two cars but hey ladies it's what we boys do would you rather have your bloke chasing birds or chasing bikes you can't have both so pick one if you want me to fucking dump my bikes maybe I'll start chasing birds that's a bit of food for thought 
not that it matters because checking my analytics I currently have 0% female followers but blokes out there you know what I'm on about so currently I'm a uh, sports sports tourer and tourer guy what comes into the uh, the garage in the future who knows there's a few bikes that I would like but for now we're definitely uh, we're definitely not in a bad position I can go fast faster or faster or fasterest depending what Goldwing is fast yep she sure is At least the current generation of Goldwing is extremely fast. But it's obviously my slowest bike. But it's embarrassed quite a few people. Come on guys, let me uh, let me get home please. I wouldn't say that I'm starving, but yeah, she's pushing midnight and I've got two meals to go. Oh, we ready? Three, two, one, go. Alright guys, well, this is pretty much me done, so thanks for tagging along. Keeping an old digger company. And, um, whoa, dirt, dirt, dirt. Thanks for keeping me company. That's uh, din din times for, uh, for old Zig. How good are those lights, eh? Well, might see you on the road on the weekend. Look out for a fucking red and silver G um, red and silver VFR 1200. And uh, hopefully one day I get to post a video about the old R1 ripping it up. But for now, that's me done. So, toodaloo guys, and enjoy. Catch yous.